we come to order, let us have a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to come to your house and worship once again, Father. And we come this morning with a cheerful heart, Father, to lift up the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. So we pray this morning that you would just let your spirit rain down upon us and we'll give your name the power, all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' most holy name we pray and we thank God and amen. Amen.
Psalms 91, 1 through 10. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God and the of my trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with His legs, and His wings shall not trust. His truth shall be thy shield and armor. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Amen. shall fall at thy right, at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh unto thee. All in thy eyes shall thou behold, and see the reward of the way. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, my have thy habitation together. There shall not be evil before thee, neither shall not be
so that all people will prosper. And as this city prospers, as schools prosper, as our neighborhoods prosper, we all prosper, God's people. And we are a blessing to the city which we've been sent. Now, I don't think that Colorado Springs compares too much to Babylon, but there's work to be done. And so in small ways, when we come together, like on City Surf and other days around that, uh, and we seek to serve our city, we are doing, and I, I believe, continuing to carry out the word and the will of God. So I want to thank you for continuing to have a vision here at Friendship Baptist beyond just these four walls, for the neighborhoods, and for this city, until Christ returns. We will later. Thank you. Amen. And as you see up on the big screen, City Serve is this coming Saturday. Amen. And, and just because our slots are filled up, if you feel like coming out, come on out. Amen. 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 We're doing a great work here in, uh, throughout the city. Amen. And if you just go on their website, if you don't feel like a certain first responders, there's many other uh, ministries out throughout the city that needs help. Amen. 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 And they're doing a great work. And we thank God for all that he's doing for Cause I Love You and City Serve. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Thomas. We have a special announcement.
This is Friendship's donation for the meal. Thank you to those who have already signed up to volunteer. There is still time for those who have. Thank you. Thank you, Sister White. Amen. And in our altar call, we're going to have Pastor Thomas to come and do an altar call for us at that time to pray also for all the volunteers for City Serve 2019. Amen. 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 I know that we've seen up on the screen, uh, we're going to sadly have to cancel our musical for that uh, weekend, the 12th. Amen. Church have lost a loved one and will be attending her homegoing service in Denver, Colorado. And so we have to get the word out to the churches, and I'm sure they all understand. And she was a minister in this city and in this church, man. And we know that we have many family members still in the church we want to support the family by taking the vans and the bus if we have to, need be, if you don't want to drive. But please be here by 8 30 on the 12th, amen. We don't want to leave anyone behind, so please be here and spread the word that, that we will be canceling the mu musical on the 12th, amen? Amen. amen. We'll get the word out to the churches. There's nothing else. We're going to ask our officers and our ushers to make their way present for our love gifts and our tithes and our offerings.
are come. I'd just like to say this. Pastor Thomas is from Texas, y'all. He knows how to worship, so y'all go ahead and worship. Amen. Amen. He's accustomed to our worship. Come on, somebody. Amen.
Hallelujah. So just raise your hand as the musicians play some so song.
We pray uh, for this church, God, for your hand to continue to be blessed and growth and servanthood in this place. And may friendship continue to minister and serve for another 74 years, Lord, in this area and within our city. May you continue to draw new people. May you continue to draw people who need to hear the good news of Jesus Christ, that they may find salvation and grace in this place. They may find a home in heaven. They may find a home in this church. But we also pray for our city. We're thankful and grateful for a day of service, a day of city service for us. We pray for all the volunteers. That what that day would do, Lord, is to show our city the tangible love of Jesus Christ. We pray that we also begin to awaken in the city a hunger for that Christ. Lord, we know your word in Isaiah 65 is talking about a new Jerusalem that you are working on, that you will be in charge of. Lord, we claim these words also, if we may, for our own city. We pray for Colorado Springs to be a place of prosperity and blessing and peace for all peoples in every corner of this city. We pray for this city to be led by wise and godly leaders, by those who seek to protect and provide justice for all of them. We pray for you to rejoice when you think of Colorado Springs and to be glad in God's people. Pray for there to be no more heard in this city the sound of weeping or the cry of distress. We pray that there would no more be in this an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not fill out his days. We pray for the building of houses and the inhabiting of them. We pray for the planting of vineyards and the eating of their fruit. We pray that no one will build and have another inhabit their home. We pray that we will not have someone who plants and yet another one takes them. Like the days of the tree shall be the days of the people in this city. May we enjoy long the work of our hands. Lord, may this city be known because of the church and the people of God in this city and how we serve and love and take the gospel around. But this is to be a city that does not labor in vain or bear children for calamity. We pray that before we call, you will answer us in these things. Lord, that means even as we're praying now, you've already been answering. But we are praying that while we are yet speaking, we look here. We pray this city will be a city of peace, where the wolf and the lamb shall graze together, where the lion shall eat straw, and the ox and dust shall be the servant's food. We pray that there will be no hurt or destroy that happens here. Lord, we claim this city, we, we rise up in prayer together. We know that in your word, the presence of God and people can save cities. We saw that with Abraham and his prayer. And so we, we ask for you to save the city spiritually, physically. Lord, bring your peace and healing. Thank you for the role that we get to play in our own neighborhoods and in this church, Friendship Baptist Church. We pray these things in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
to give you some eternal food. Yeah. Food that the world can't give you. Yeah. Yes, That'll last for all the eternity. Yeah. Amen. And we're going to talk about a text here from that passage of scripture. God's time well, is not our time. God's time is not our time. We spend time daily of, you know, being everything we can be in this life. Time to be the, uh, spending time to have the best house. Spending time to drive the best cars. Spending time to wear the best clothes. Spending time to please others. And although we think that that's our time, but we got to give an account for God's time. Surely he going to we're going to have to account for this time. Yeah. Amen. It's like, you know, we work. We go out to work. We have to clock in, don't we? Yeah, right. And when we clock in, that time that you clock in is recorded. Right. Yes. And no matter how long you work, <laughs> overtime, part time, sometime, that time is recorded. Yeah. And at the end of that pay period, yeah. you're going to be rewarded for the work you've done. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Help me. Yeah. So that's the same way it is with God. All right. When we profess to be Christians, yeah. the time clock starts. All right. We just clocked in. It's recorded. Yeah. Whether we thought it was our time yeah. or how we used it, yeah. Yeah. we got to give account. Because yeah. yeah. God going to look for his time. Yeah. And when it comes the day that we stand before the judgment seat, all, right, all, right. All, right. all that time that we did, yeah. that we benefited, yeah. he don't care nothing about that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. All right. 
so you can build something. Yeah. yeah. Something up in here. Yeah. So you can build faith and trust in him. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna be with your home.
So don't thank you. This time. So whenever you back then that you have done all this and all that, just think, oh, it's God's time. My bad, my bad. It's God's time. Oh, that's good. That's good. God is outside of time because he was.
Never ask God for wisdom. Knowledge. Understanding of his word. In order that I might know his time. Or I can be patiently and wait. When I know his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of his word. So here we are. We that denied Christ three times. Y'all know Peter that desired to be crucified upside down, tradition says, because he didn't want to die the way that Christ did. Y'all know Peter, uh, God told him, said, Peter, come, you know, on the water.
supernatural level. Yeah. Why can't we do it for Christians? Mm -hmm. yes, but if some mess went on, some of us, oh, that's on, that's, that's on our own scale. <laughs> so uh, Peter was telling about these false prophets and teachers. You know when we don't know the word of God and a false prophet or a teacher comes in, it torments a believer's righteousness. All right, all right. When we don't know. Right. It torments it. These false prophets and teachers will come in and they would act like they're servants of God. Yeah. Some may even look like well, servants of God. But deep down in their hearts and in their spirit, they don't want nothing to do with Jesus. All right. All right. All right. Nothing. And they can turn one word and twist it. And if you don't know what the word says, you will accept it. All because you did not. Which you should have. And we gotta give an account of that. I mean, just because there's false teachers and preachers out there, it's still our responsibility to know. That ain't that ain't that's not an excuse. Because he gave you the word. Amen. Study to show thyself approved. The Bible says that it would be better off mm -hmm. if they had not known righteousness. Yeah. It'll be better off just, just like committing suicide. It'll be better off if they had not known nothing about Christ. That's right. That's right. Proverbs says it like this. As a dog returning to his farm, mm -hmm. so a fool repeats his father. Yeah. Or his foolishness. Yeah. Now you know it's a nasty thing. A dog. Turning to his own bum. Now I know some of y'all probably saw that. Now I Years, 
and a thousand years one day. Now, you know we just said don't read into, read out from. Now this is not saying Peter didn't say a came yeah. in a thousand years. He said it's like a day is like a thousand years. And a thousand years as one day. Meaning, it don't matter how long it takes God yeah. to bless somebody mm -hmm. or to uh, 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 accomplish his will. Mm -hmm. Because he's, he's already ended already. So however long it takes, he don't, it don't matter to him. Yeah. He still has to accomplish his will. And one day he still go come. Mm -hmm. yes. So a lot of us are kind of glad that he tarried this time. Because he would have caught us. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. So he tarried. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us said, well, why? And you're going to have the scoffers that's going to come in and say, where is your God at? Where is he at? He said he was coming back. Where is he? Yeah, yeah. To try to uh, disencourage you. Yeah. or should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about that, that he's a chariot? Yeah. His coming? Because that's his, that's his perfect will that everybody should come to the knowledge of God, but unfortunately everybody's not. Yeah. But that was his will from the beginning. Yes. 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 Have you ever thought about that? That he's gonna just wait just a little while. And Jesus said, even, I don't know yeah. when I'm coming back, but only my father in heaven knows. Yeah. But I'm so glad mm -hmm. that he tarried his coming. Yeah. Because he would have caught me in my mess. All right. Yeah. 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 Right, right. I'm glad that he mm -hmm. tarried his coming. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cause he would have found my heart one round. Right. Right. I'm so glad that yeah. Yeah. he didn't have he yeah. carried his coming. Yeah. Cause I didn't have no peace. All right. Come on, Rip. I'm so glad.
but it's just to know we have watched this young man grow up before us. We see God doing great work in his life. Before we dismiss, I'd just like to thank Pastor Thomas, a man in Pulte Rock, and the family for joining us in worship. And so I would say, amen. Amen. Please come again, amen. Don't be no stranger, amen. And y'all remember this. He told us about Kronos. He didn't mention Kairos. At just the right time, Christ died for us. Amen. As we stand all over the sanctuary, at just the right time, he gave his life that we may have a right to the tree of life. Thank <laughs> you.